So welcome then to St John the Baptist Church here in Ashley. In the Western Church, the feast day of St Michael also includes the veneration of two other angels, Gabriel and Raphael, hence St Michael and all angels. These angels are the beloved messengers of God. Michael which means who is like God, is best known for his victory over the dragon, which is told in the revelation of John. Gabriel, which means the strength of God, is the one who in the gospel according to Luke, is sent by God to Mary to announce the birth of Christ. Raphael, which means the healing of God, is depicted in the book of Tobit as the one who restores sight to Tobit's eyes. Now, Jesus certainly believed in angels, and for this reason, so much we. However, it is also possible that the ministry of angels is brought about through the actions of inspired people here on earth, and only some of them have been recognized as saints of the church. Amen. is taken from the first chapter of John, starting at verse 47. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus said, You believe, because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You shall see greater things than that. He then added, I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Like many saints' days, Michaelmas found its way into the liturgical because of a dedication of a church. In the 15th century, a basilica near Rome was named in honour of St. Michael. And St. Michael's Mass was subsequently short shortened to Michaelmas, much like Christmas is a short form of Christ Mass and Candle Mass comes from, obviously, candle mass. So let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so by your command they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now the choir are going to sing, angel voices ever singing.
let us pray. We pray for the whole family of your church here and the loggerheads benefits. May all your people be built up in faith and demonstrate in their lives the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. Give us courage to those who find it hard to follow you. Give us encouragement when we're finding the teachings of your son difficult. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for your world, particularly those countries that are torn apart by conflict, illness and hunger. We continue to pray for the people of Afghanistan as they begin to rebuild their lives following recent events. We ask for your protection and support for all refugees who had to move to new countries. We pray for the leaders of all nations that they would strive for justice and peace for all people. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for our local community. Please show us how we can best serve people who are struggling in any way. We pray for children, teachers and administrators at the Hugo Maynard and Lockleston schools and for all those who work at the Ashley Surgery and in the local hospitals. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Caring God, we pray for all those who are afflicted with physical, emotional or mental illness. Help them to keep their eyes fixed on you and give them courage to face the trials and temptations that may come. Bring healing and comfort for people around the world suffering from short and long-term effects of COVID-19. Speed their recovery and slow the spread of the virus. We thank you for the efforts of all those involved in treating, testing and caring for patients and ask for your protection over them as they go about their work. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for those kept fresh in our memory and for those long forgotten, for all who shared our homes, our places of work, our church life, for all who helped shape our lives. We pray too for the recently departed, asking that they all find rest in your heavenly kingdom as we commend them to eternal life with you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. As our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen.